youth runner uh, with uh, one of the most prolific pairings, uh, not only uh, in Orange County, uh, in Division Two, in the entire state of California, in the United States. They validated again today. Amber Daisy, Mackenzie Forrest, 1731, 1755, third and tenth in the Division Two sta uh, state final. Uh, like I was, uh, like I was just saying. To Jordan Lieberman, like the, we have the two of you. We have Kinga and Amaya from Palo Alto. We got Grace and, and Ayla. And so, I mean, uh, obviously, there's just you know this like in, incredible energy among among teammates and, uh, and and pairs. But Amber, if you'll uh, if you'll indulge me, like to be able to have a moment uh, uh, like, like that. I mean, both of you have been amazing individually. You're better you're better together. But like just. How, like, how special was it uh, to be able to execute a race at that level today? It was so cool, and especially the first mile, being able to run it like with Mackenzie. I think that that gave us both a lot of confidence, and it was really fun running with her, and racing with her, and being competitive that like first mile when we were still together. And I think it helped out a lot to like get us out fast and use each other. Most definitely. I mean, obviously, you, you ladies don't get to see Kinga and Amaya as, as much, but you know, uh, even when Sadie's going to be off doing her thing, like. Jordan's always around. Grace is all around. How 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 good is that familiarity? How like how much reassurance do you get when it's just like okay, whether we're doing it at Mount Sac or at Woodward Park, like I know them, they know me, and like we're you know we're gonna do it together. We're gonna bring the best out of each other. Yeah, no, it's so nice running with like the same girls all the time, and it's really nice because like you know their paces and you know like how they race and you know like kind of what they're gonna do, and it's it's nice to have like a group to stick with, especially some really fast girls like that. And I've made some friends with a lot of them, and it's nice talking to them and seeing them at a bunch of these meets and racing with them, and it's really nice. It's fun, yeah. Well, a woman that I know is a friend, uh, <laughs> uh, that, I, that I know is a, a ride or die, uh, and one of the, you know, one of the, the greatest training partners uh, that, uh, that any woman in the United States could ask for, Mackenzie Forrest. <laughs> Mackenzie, I, I said before they brought you up on stage, like just the courage, the grit, the will, the determination to get to where you were. Like even when you weren't feeling A+, plus, like the, your heart, you know your soul like is always a plus like, I mean like what did it require from you in that in that stretch at the end because like I said life is a lot different if you're 10th uh, versus 11th because unfortunately we don't have the blessing of seeing these beautiful medals and hardware around your neck yeah honestly just takes so much mental strength at the end when you get to the end of the season your body's tired you're, you're mentally exhausted but you really just have to to dial in to mentally lock to just will yourself push yourself as far as you possibly can because you know it's the end and you want to give it absolutely everything and so I really just do think the mental grit is like the biggest aspect that you can um, focus in on at the end when I, when I think about how amazing both of you were at Cool Breeze and just how exceptional both of you have been. You know, the, like that's a long stretch to be operating at such a, at such a high level. Like, uh, and Amber, I'm going to ask you about it in a second. But like, just how proud are you of the fact that, like, in all the big moments and all the big meets, you know, whether it was something local, you know, like a county championships or obviously at Southern Section and State Finals. Mackenzie Forrest and Amber Daisy always showed up. Like how like how proud are you of that? I honestly can't even express it. Like opening up at Cool Breeze with Amber, us both doing super well and just continuing that through the entire season. I feel like it's something that was really hard for us to do, but we like continue to push each other and motivate each other and I'm so happy that we were able to perform at this high level and show up and show out at all of the big meets when it really mattered. So honestly it just means so much to me that that we both had it in us, you know, and we could both support each other through this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amber, I mean, like I said, not only like the, just the longevity and the maturity that it requires, but like just the patience that it requires, like, you know, like, because I mean, after, like after that meet, I was like, yep, like as long as they stay healthy, they're going to be amazing at Woodward Park and they're going to be amazing at Mount Sac. But it's one thing to say that on Labor Day weekend. And then it's another thing to now look at the fact that we're almost in December. Like yeah. just, what kind of patience does that require? Oh, a lot. It's it's a long season, and it's it's a lot of training and a lot of racing. But it's really nice having like your teammates around and your coach and everyone to help you like throughout that long process. And yeah, it's it's good. So obviously, Jay Sarah is still waiting in the wings. But when we think about you two ladies and the Tesoro program, when we think about El Toro, when we think about Tribuco, when, you know, when we think about Newport and whatnot, like. This is one of the great days ever for Orange County w women's racing, and obviously, that that narrative and you know and that dialogue would not be complete, would not be fitting without Amber Daisy and Mackenzie Forrest. Amber, I'll ask you first, and then Mackenzie, what, like, what does that mean to you to see? You know, I mean, everybody's 
and summer hasn't raced yet, but like, what, I mean, you see all these people around, like and everybody's having a day and everybody's walking away I, with team plaques and medals. Like how cool is that, Amber? It's so cool. And I love living in a place that has like so much crazy fast competition. It's really cool. And the fact that we get to race against these teams like all the time, it's really cool. And I think all the teams around us that are really fast, like push us to be better with every single race. And I'm so thankful that we live in an area that has like that kind of good competition. Mackenzie, I mean, it's just like it's a culture, it's a community, right? I mean, everybody, you know, is going to drive them to be the best version of themselves or a team to be the best version of itself. But it's like when you can look around and it's like all these uh, all these women that, like, you know, like we're bringing the best out of them and they're bringing the best out of us. Like, uh, like how meaningful is that? I, I mean, I can't even say it's so meaningful. Like, I agree with everything that Amber says. We love having the competition, um, especially in California. And, like, this big showing of OC schools is honestly amazing to see. And like you said, the community is, like, one of the biggest parts for me. Everyone is so, so supportive. No matter what school you're from, there's never harsh feelings. We're all here to lift each other up and to do our best. And I really just feel like that um, supportive community, like, boosts everyone, everyone up here. Well, if anybody was at Irvine Regional Park uh, for the CV League and the uh, South Coast League, and Carol Dye as well. Uh, they should have seen it all coming. Uh, and these girls uh, continued uh, to deliver. Amber Daisy, 1731, Mackenzie Forrest, 1755. Third and 10th, uh, both all state performers in the Division II championship. Well done.